Hey, future explorers, let me tell you, some stuff might still be hanging around even 2,000 years later. Finland has an underground nuclear storage facility designed to last 100,000 years. Picture a massive underground tunnel system carved right out of solid rock. They wanted a solution that wouldn't burden future generations with constant babysitting in the area. This impressive place sits about 185 miles northwest of Helsinki. The engineers started planning it way back in the 1970s. They wanted to close up shop and decommission it in the 2000s. The heart of the crib is a spiraling track that's going to stretch three miles diving down. To ensure maximum safety, they've got a bunch of multiple barriers in place. Steel and concrete structures are supposed to do the job. The waste fuel rods will be snuggled inside copper canisters with thick walls. These canisters will sit on a cozy bed of bentonite clay, which swells up when it gets wet. This way, it acts as a buffer against any geological shenanigans and prevents any pooling of liquid, which could corrode the copper. It's an incredible feat of engineering, and it's almost like creating a time capsule that will withstand the test of time. Kudos to the folks working on this, even though they won't be around to celebrate when it's done. Maybe in the future, they will find a way to make it last for hundreds of years more. I mean, they started planning it in the 1970s, but in the future, it would be a totally different game. Let's move on to Italy. When you stroll into the Pantheon in Rome, it puts on a show just like it did almost 2,000 years ago. Now, let's rewind a bit. This structure went through some tough times. The first Pantheon caught fire and burned down not once, but twice. Some fellas even said it was cursed. The completed Pantheon was a grand masterpiece with Greek-inspired touches, like those fancy columns. But the real jaw-dropper was its gigantic dome. The largest unsupported concrete dome on the planet. Now, the Pantheon's original purpose remains a mystery. Some say it was a Roman worshipping spot, while others think it was where the emperor got his hotline to the deities. The massive eye on top, known as the oculus, lets in sunbeams and rain. Marble from all over the Mediterranean made it look snazzy, but the Roman concrete made the magic happen. Then we've got the impressive Hoover Dam in the USA, an architectural masterpiece. Experts designed it to harness hydroelectricity and prevent water from going where it shouldn't. This dam is built like a fortress. Steel, concrete, and a lot of TLC keep it strong. Let's jet off to New Delhi and check out the Akshardham Temple, even though it's very young compared to the other structures I've mentioned. It was completed in 2005. It already has the characteristics of a building that can stand for a long time. During the construction, numerous ancient and modern innovations were used to ensure its endurability. Next on our list of the world's most future-proof buildings is the St. Louis Arch, which rises high over Missouri. Also known as the Gateway Arch, it is the tallest human-made monument in the USA. The Great Wall of China. While it's not a single building, the Great Wall of China is an ancient marvel that has survived for centuries. Some sections of the wall were reconstructed in modern times, but they still carry historical and cultural significance. Those bricks might look a little crumbly, but hey, they're still standing strong. Then we have the former Byzantine church, now known as Hagia Sophia from Istanbul. It still looks glorious, and it's 1,500 years old. It's been through many things, like earthquakes. Architects designed Hagia Sophia in an impressively short period. After the Ottoman conquest of Constantinople in 1453, Mehmed II converted it into a mosque. 
he added some new stuff, like a minaret and a chandelier. Hagia Sophia is a unique architectural marvel. Its main dome is 105 feet tall and flanked by two semi-domes on both sides. In terms of its floor plan, the building is nearly square, but from the interior perspective, it appears rectangular because of the extension of the roof by large semi-domes. The interior has three aisles separated by columns, with galleries above and substantial marble piers rising at both ends to support the dome. These columns are constructed of the finest marble, carefully chosen for their color and variety, while the lower walls are adorned with marble slabs. On the outside, there are windows above the galleries and around the base of the dome. When the sun's shining, it kinda tricks your eyes into thinking the dome is floating, because these windows hide the support structures. We couldn't have put together a list of the world's sturdiest buildings without mentioning perhaps the most famously enduring of them all. The Pyramids of Giza. They were completed around 2540 BCE. They've got the whole package. Superior materials, genius engineering, and a design that puts all other structures to shame. The ancient Egyptians were all about building for eternity. They believed that the afterlife would last forever, so they made sure their tombs would too. The Egyptians threw in extra walls and other stuff just to be safe, even if they didn't fully understand the laws of physics. Now, let's shift our gaze to our time. Can today's skyscrapers beat the pyramids in the longevity game? The Burj Khalifa in Dubai is the world's tallest building, it boasts impressive engineering and architecture, its reinforced concrete and steel structure, along with its iconic design, might help it withstand the test of time. Sure, skyscrapers are super tall and fancy, but they're not as sturdy as the pyramids. Modern skyscrapers need to deal with crazy winds, lightning strikes and earthquakes too. Experts haven't agreed on this yet. Some say that if we take good care of them, they can last. But others think they'll eventually be torn down or abandoned. The verdict? Only time will tell. Alexander Rose and his team are up to something jaw-dropping. They're creating a 10,000-year clock in the Texan desert. But before we get into the nitty-gritty, let's take a trip to Japan. There, they have this fantastic tradition of rebuilding the Jingu Shrine with wood and thatch every 20 years for more than 13 centuries. It's to preserve the structures and pass on the craftsmanship to the next generation. But let's not stop there. Ancient artifacts and buildings from various cultures have survived the test of time, and each one has something to teach us. The clock project takes inspiration from these long-lasting wonders and aims to encourage us to think about our long-term future. Building a clock to last 10,000 years is no easy feat. The team must consider materials, location, and past examples of long-lasting structures. For instance, some of history's unique treasures survived simply because they were lost and found later. Going underground is another way to protect artifacts. Subterranean environments shield items from the elements and keep temperatures stable. But there's one pesky problem, water. It's always trying to sneak its way in. Materials matter big time when it comes to longevity. You see, everything ages because of oxidation, which means rusting. So, finding materials that can withstand thousands of years is vital. How long buildings can really last depends on the building's personality and purpose. Take those fancy office buildings, for instance. They're all about short-term commitment, designed to last only 30 to 50 years. Just like with any relationship, it takes effort to make something last longer. Regular checkups, maintenance, and repairs are the key to keeping the spark alive.
That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.